Russia has launched its first probe to the moon in almost 50 years, a mission designed to provide renewed momentum to the country's space industry, which has been struggling for years and become increasingly isolated amid the ongoing war in Ukraine. The launch of the Lunar 25 lander is Moscow's first lunar mission since 1976, when the USSR was a pioneer in space exploration. The rocket carrying the probe blasted off at 2.10 a.m. Moscow time. The spacecraft is due to reach the moon's orbit in five days. It will then spend between three and seven days choosing the right landing location on the moon's south pole. Officials say for the first time in history, the lunar landing will take place on the lunar south pole. Until now, everyone has been landing in the equatorial zone. They expect the probe to land on the moon around the 21st of August. The Luna 25 mission aims to be the first probe to make a soft landing on the moon's south pole, something that has eluded Russian, American, Chinese, Japanese and Israeli missions over the years. Well, uh, once it's there, it'll search for frozen water by taking rock samples from a depth of up to 15 centimeters of the moon's re regolith, the layer of loose surface material. The craft also carries a dust monitor, wide angle ionic energy mass analyzer that would provide measurements of iron parameters in the moon's exosphere. The mission also has a significant geopolitical role according to Russian and foreign observers. Some say the study of the moon is not the real goal. The goal is political competition between two superpowers, China and the United States, and a number of other countries that want to claim the title of space superpower. Some argue Russia's aspirations towards the moon are mixed up in a lot of different things. First and foremost, it's an expression of national power on the global stage. Remember, it's also a race with India. Luna 25 is racing to reach the moon before another spacecraft from India, Chandrayaan-3. Both countries are aiming to be the first to reach the moon's south pole around the 25th of this month. Chandrayaan-3 is due to run experiments for two weeks, while Luna 25 will work on the moon for one Earth year. The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, successfully launched the Chandrayaan-3 mission from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota on the 14th of July in its second attempt at a soft landing on the surface of the moon. The spacecraft is expected to land on the lunar surface by the 23rd of August. The Soviet U Union was the first country to land on the moon all the way back in 1959, but the space race eventually shifted to Mars and other missions. Since the 1991 fall of the Soviet Union, Russia has failed to send probes beyond the Earth's orbit. Moscow has vowed to continue exploring space despite uh, Western sanctions, and it replaced equipment from the European Space Agency with Russian-made instruments.